I've never had it before. I only had it on one side, but both of my, I think like my thyroid, I don't know, like under here it was sore. And it was sore up here. It was really weird. It sucks. I was tired even though I slept all day. I could sleep the whole night. Um, it's all gone now, I think. Okay, hi guys. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope I don't scrape. I've, so I ah. went to the steering wheel. If I put my steering wheel like this, I've tried it a couple times and it doesn't scrape if it's like almost straight going like this. Ooh. So we'll find out right now if it works this time. Oh, I was scared. Oh, Ooh. that was nice. Where did I leave off? Um, anyway, it's quite simple, really. I'm gonna, so, oh, I remember what I was gonna say. I'm not a financial advisor or any of the sorts, but I will share how I got my cars. And it's not complicated, but I will share with you guys opportunities that you have every single day. Hello. So, on an average day, I'm going to speak about the average person, right, okay, on an average day of the week, whatever, so, mm, you wake up, get ready for work, have your breakfast, some people like energy drinks, some people like their protein powder, whatever, well, me, I don't, I've never made enough money to like pay anything off doing this, because I'm not consistent with it. But an opportunity that I have, I'm a market partner with Monet, and Monet, they started as a shampoo hair care company, and I started doing this a few years ago. Basically, you're like a sponsor for this brand, for this company, which is an amazing company. They've now expanded to like greens powders, your collagen, but it's all vegan. They have protein powder, they even do men's, even pet stuff, like pet shampoo. Oh yeah. It's really cool, even kids. But um, every morning I have my little like energy drink. They have energy drinks which are healthy and really good. And they last me all day and I have the energy with five year old. My point is, you go to Starbucks every day, you get your coffee, you go, you buy new shoes, you go do this, you post it on your Instagram, you post it on your store, whatever, right? It's the same exact concept. You're just sharing a product and, and you can create customers, you can, get more people to sponsor the company with you and you can get paid too. There's a, there's a lot of incentives. You can eventually get a Cadillac and things like that, a Range Rover, which I, I just don't, I don't know why I don't put the time into it, but there's one opportunity. Like you just woke up, there's one opportunity already aside from let's say the shampoo, other than like the consumable products that you take every day, like your vitamins, your probiotic, your powders, whatever. That's one thing, right? Then you drive to work. Oh, you drive to work. You drive to work, right? What if you have a cool car, a car that you take, um, you know, pride in, something you worked hard for, you're into cars, you want to share that with other people like I do. Make social media, you can get paid on social media, you can get brand deals, sponsorship, sponsorships, whatever. Make videos out of it and eventually you can get monetized. That's what I'm doing now. I'm not monetized, but I'm doing it because I enjoy it. It's an opportunity. Do car shows. Just being into cars branches out to so many other opportunities. Like you can start rapping. Do you like do you like to wrap your car? Have you ever wanted to? Want to try it? Yeah. You can wrap people's cars. You can get paid for it on the side. It doesn't even have to be like absolutely professional. That's what practice is for. Do you like to wash your car? You could detail your car. You could detail other people's car. Make quick money on the side. Do other things. You can do maintenance, little maintenance jobs for other people. You can do a lot. Okay, that's the second thing. And you're just driving to work already. Like. You have to think about the opportunities and everyday things, right? Then, okay, you'll go to work, whatever, work your 10 hours, whatever you do. You're at work, you're eating. What if you like to cook? Do you like to 
cook. Yeah. You can make meal prep for people. You can do cooking videos. You can do a lot of things. You can be a cook when you get older, too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> duh. Like, to clean your house. Should have been a housemaid. No one would like that. But only if they wanted money. So now you're at work, whatever, you know, you've had your lunch. You're already a professional chef. Just kidding. I'm in the wrong line. <laughs> I'm a good chef. Um, I'm very good, guys. I can cook you a four-coast meal. I'm kidding, no. I can give you a whole half meal, but eh, um, it's not the same. Now you're at work halfway through the day, the day's kind of dragging, you're like, ugh, I can't wait for my Amazon package to come in. Amazon. <laughs> what was that? You can sell on Amazon, and it's so easy. I'm gonna start doing that here very soon. My friend, Riley, he has a course. If you guys want any information on that, comment, and I will update and leave the details and stuff like that. You can sell on Amazon, and it's fairly easy anybody can do it you don't need a warehouse you can do it out of your house so there's another opportunity right you can sell on Amazon oh your name is no right. private label no advertising you don't have to spend your time making TikToks for brands with products you get on Alibaba and things like that you don't have to do that all you do is really buy and resell on Amazon that's it and what else do I do social media do you have a hobby you're into cars you're watching this video right Make videos on Instagram, make posts. Are you a photographer? Start taking pictures of cars. I used to do that very often. So those are the opportunities that I have every day. Obviously, um, they don't all make most of my income. I have a main source of income, which is my job that I work full time. My second, in um, my second, Income would be Instagram, but the weird Reels Play bonus thing is over now. I think I'm gonna have to move to subscriptions. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Like, what do you guys want to see? Like, oh, me making waffles on my supercharger or something? <laughs> oh yeah. The like classified cooking videos, cursed waffle videos. That's a good one. But yeah, that's really it. What I did though, I'll explain it a little bit again. Oh, one more thing too is actually, I think what helps me. I don't know if it helps me a lot because I still had to wait, but. Um, so I graduated at 17, got a job. I worked at a Burger King. I've never said where I've worked, but I don't work there anymore, and um, yeah. I used to just say, oh, I worked at a restaurant, but yeah, I worked at a Burger King. I worked there for a year, and then after a year, I became a manager, and I was a manager for two years, but during those three years, I saved most of my money, moved like everything over to my savings. I didn't spend money, so I saved my money for those three years, and then moved everything over to my savings I didn't touch I don't like to spend my money I mean <laughs> I don't I'm not the type to just blow my money you know so I saved most of my money and ever since I seen the Hellcat it was my dream car so I like save everything because I wanted that car like yesterday so I saved up like I think I I don't remember the numbers I don't remember if it was half or a little over half of the price of the car to put down as a down payment so literally Let's talk numbers for a second, guys. So today, in today's time, how much would you pay for a Hellcat? Mm, I don't know, maybe like at least a thousand, right? For insurance, ridiculous. I pay less than four hundred dollars for a Hellcat. So I pay the price of a daily for the Hellcat. But both my cars combined, I owe like, I think I'm under sixty thousand together now for both my cars. Like what I owe, which is insane. I'm glad I waited, but. One thing that I wanted to talk about too, when I was 17, I was dreaming for the Hellcat so bad I wanted it as soon as possible. So I saved all my money, right? Which I ended up getting it three years later. But what I did, I found out I was like doing my own like research <laughs> on how to get your credit up fast. Cause I was 17 at the time, I had no credit. Um, obviously you need good credit to buy anything, like a car, take a, take a loan out, you need good credit. I'm gonna turn the car off. <laughs> Let me see. I was wasting gas. It's kind of hard with, without my- So I asked my mom to put me as a co-signer on her credit card and it you have to do this with somebody that already has good credit. By doing that, you can get your credit up really fast, almost to the same score as the person you're doing it under with. You get your own card and it's under your name, everything, right? Um, but 
let's say you just have the card, you don't use it, you don't really ever use it, and you have a 700 credit score. You go to get a loan, they're probably not going to give you a loan because you don't have credit history. So I don't know if it helped me that much because I was a co-owner on my mom's account. Because I waited those three years anyways, I could have built my credit myself during that time. But yeah, credit history is very, very important, not just your credit score. I did that, bought the Hellcat in 2020, I was 19, and then, what, when did I get this car? Last year? Yeah, 2022, in February, I bought my vet, because I've always wanted a vet, and I wanted a daily, so I bought a $42,000 car. <laughs> but yeah, that's like that's really it, honestly. It's not that complicated, it's just the way that I did it, I guess. I just saved a lot of money. So literally, I only owe one car right now, which is pretty cool. But now I have double the insurance, double the gas, double the mods. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's really it. Um... You gotta go. I'm at my destination now. I actually needed to stop somewhere before McDonald's. But yeah, um, I thought I was gonna be more like, I don't know. I felt like that was gonna be way more like in depth than it was, but it's really not bad at all. It's very simple, at least I think. You just really have to have dedication and consistency. That's what I always say, because if you have a goal and you chase it, you really want it that bad, you're gonna do it. No matter what it takes, honestly, it's not that difficult. You just have to put your mind to it. It was so dirty. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see because I honestly, I need to start. Um, what is that? <laughs> Ew! Welcome back. Oh. Um, what? Oh, oh, it turned black for a second. Oh. <laughs> My sister wants to keep recording, so we're gonna keep recording. We're gonna go take you guys to McDonald's, make it into a little vlog. I feel like this video is really short. I thought it was gonna be way longer. Oh no. Also, guys, look at my hoodie that my boyfriend got me. It's us. You got it for Valentine's Day. Cheeto and you. Just so, like, like. Gotta go to Mecca's now. Yummy. Because oh. I wanted it. I just picked up my promise ring to get it resized. <laughs> it's finally back. Mm -hmm. So cute. It's oh, look, we're breaking necks, guys. <laughs> How, how can they see me if it's just a floating car on four wheels? It's kind of weird. Tell them something that you love about your Corvette. That it's super light and I can throw it around like... Ah! Oh. So guys, Amazon. Um, I didn't really speak about that too much. I just said the basics. <laughs> well, duh. So I'm going to start doing retail arbitrage, start dabbling in online arbitrage, and it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. I have been procrastinating a lot, which is disgusting. Don't do that. But I'm very excited. Riley and his other students are very successful with it, and the class is just amazing. It gives you everything you need. So if you guys want information on that class, let me know and I'll give you the information. Turn or look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. You guys want POV driving footage or something? Like, let me know what you guys want to see. I need to show you guys how I detail my car on the inside. I'm not a pro, but I get the job done. I wish you had like a camera holder right there. I know. I need to get like a sticky pad. I can't even put like a phone mount here. Look how awkward this whole thing is. They make one for like the handle down here, but then it'd be about, like down here, and that's just. Oh. Gonna be annoying. Uh, there's a red light coming up ahead. Um, my challenger, my little hookiezy, my little, <laughs> that's a little. I have plans for the car. I so I've always wanted it to be full bolt-ons, and um, it's it's not. It's just it, it's stock. The motor, <laughs> we'll say that, right? The motor. I have not touched the motor. It's just thermostat. That's it. <laughs> Thermostat exhaust intake tune, uh, short door shifter. 
have more traction. Obviously, I need traction in a Hellcat because it spins all through third gear without even trying. Um, and I need to learn how to. I need to. I need to get my um, what's it called driver mod. I need to put some work into that. It's so that I I need I get more traction, and so I do not rub at all on my tires because they're three fifteens, Mickey Thompson E Street E T Street R's. I think they are. I forget. I don't know. Um, on my race stars, they're eleven by seventeen. Pretty freaking fat. They stick out like a monster truck. So not only did my drag spring raise the car a little bit, it also has like mud tires on it, but like flat ones. <laughs> So it literally mm -hmm, sticks out. So I've also been considering going wide body because of that. Not only because of that, but I think that it looks amazing. But I'm also afraid to cut my fenders. But I know I'm never going to get rid of the car. So it shouldn't really matter. Right? But I don't know. I'd be scared to cut it and like mess it up. I, you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist sometimes. Um, and I really, like if I were to wide body the Hellcat, I would want it to be perfect it has to be perfect but then again obviously the wrap's gonna eventually have to come off on this car so thus making me have an opportunity to wrap both of my cars which I originally well not originally I've always wanted to wrap at least one of my cars but it would be amazing to have two matching cars even though they're both red but a wrap to match on both the cars would be sick you should do it. Yes, but I need money and more time. I also said before that I um, do not want to wrap anybody's car, not even if it's paid, because it's a lot of work and I see how they could charge so much. But I have a couple people that do want me to wrap their car that I will be doing, those being my one of my coworkers and then a, a friend in the car community um, that don't care how long it takes are extremely understandable that I only ever wrapped once and don't care that if it's not perfect so that's gonna be fun and I'm gonna be able to make content with that and yeah other than that I really don't know what else to film I don't really do anything I work all the time I can detail my cars <sighs> do more vlogs I need to do that because I love vlogs day in the life somebody suggested a day in the life it would be really entertaining <laughs> But it'd be fun. I could do something cool. But you should do that or do like a skin routine on your car. Skin routine? Oh my gosh. That's that's actually a really good idea. I could be like, uh, guys, welcome to my skincare routine. And then like just start detailing my car to paint. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Wee. Wee hee hee hee. Seven gears. Blah, blah, blah. You guys want to know a fun fact? I didn't know how to drive stick when I bought my Challenger. And I bought it in like San Diego. <laughs> yeah, my dad drove the first half and then I drove the second half. I was getting off the freeway and I stalled trying to like get moving again. Um, fun fact, the clutches in, the, the stock clutches in Hellcats are stupid heavy. And it still gives me a leg workout today. McDonald's! Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. Look at how long the line is. Somebody's already trying to leave. That's so wonderful. Wow, look at that footwork. Wow. Oh, <laughs> we're in neutral. Sorry, guys. I've been thinking about this lately. Like, I need, I kind of need to learn how to heel toe, but like, obviously, I can't. Let's put it. Oh, my, hold on. The line's moving. Um, will I roll back? Oh yeah, we're rolling back. I gotta put it in park. Can't really heel toe. I uh, guess. Can I? What? Oh, <gasps> I can. Oh my gosh, but that's kind of like sketchy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What if I just learn how to heel toe right now? Scary. Luckily, this car has auto rev matching, unlike the Hellcat. Ugh. Heel toe. Oh look, the line's moving. Yay. McDonald's, yes. Breakfast. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a phone call. I have a list here, like a grocery list, but like a McDonald's list. Why am I speaking in Australia? <laughs> I can do an accent pretty well. I get a bacon ranch chicken sandwich. No pickle, add cheese, extra onion. I like cheese. Alright. And 
and it's glittering, but you can tell. Yeah. A mocha frap, a small. Okay. Thank you. So we got some food, bro. Last night I had a dream that I went to Australia with my cousin. <laughs> and then instead of going back home the next day, we booked a flight to Japan and I missed my flight. She did it. So I think I have to go to Australia now. But yeah, that concludes today's video. Oh gosh. That concludes today's video. Um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, let me know. Stop acting like clear. Oh my gosh. I'm clear. I'm clear. Yeah, um, clear. Bye guys.